Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about some simple thing. Uh, here is found the picture in around the internet. Uh, this is pattern looks uh, pretty simple and this is pattern we will create today uh, in this tutorial. I will show you some techniques. We will use the Dynamo. This tutorial mostly for the beginners. Uh, if you are not beginner, you can also check uh, how it's working uh, with the panels the best way. Uh, and we will use Dynamo in the end to create some randomize. So if you are interested in this topic, let's get started. So for this tutorial we will create the again new file. Uh, I always starting the for uh, from the new file to showing you all the uh, way how I did it. We will use the conceptual mess. You can do it in project, but you still need conceptual mess in project. Here is the um, our template metric mess conceptual one. Let's open up it. Here is our mm, free uh, workspace and we will create our um, future pattern, let's say. As you can see, with this dot, it means uh, now I'm creating the line with the 3D snapping. I don't need right now any 3D snapping, so let's unswitch all it. It's here, 3D snapping, let's unswitch off and let's place here the sum line. Don't let's don't create it a really long one. Let's create like I don't know like 10 meters It will be pretty enough for us 10 meters and let's extrude our line Just select your line and create the form and here's your extrusion Let's select the this line if you cannot select this line use the top key once you're using the top key the Revit searching what the, the you can select in this point Let's select this line and let's change the height to the 10 meters too. So we will make something like a cube. I did thousand then. Okay, as you can see, something like a cube. As you can see on the my picture, uh, which is I showed you before, uh, we should use the triangle, uh, triangle pattern. Let's select this surface and let's divide it by surface. You get uh, now square pattern, but we need triangle one. Here on the left side you can see this no 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 pattern. Here's now right now not any pattern. Let's change the situation to the triangle one. We have two different uh, triangle. We will use for this tutorial the flat one, triangle flat. Let's use it and we get something like that. It's really terrible because it's not even the triangle. It, actually this is this is triangle but not as uh, we want, not like as on our picture. Let's change the situation. Uh, how you can do that? Just select your pattern, go to the left side and here you can see U grid and V grid. Actually this is like Z direction and X direction, that's it. As you can see here is the fixed number. Let's say change the fixed number to the fixed distance and UV grid also will change to the fixed distance. Right now you can see our fixed distance 1000 and 1000. This is not so much correct because uh, we want to get um, not so not this type of triangle. Let's change this. We will just select our distance. Here is our distance. Let's create the new parameter and we will call it. This is will be U uh, distance, it will be U distance and let's leave it instance because uh, we don't have any reason to, uh, I mean the type 1, we don't have any reason to make it instance. Let's say ok, let's say ok, so and let's go back to the uh, we grid and we will do the same thing, new parameter but U we will change to the V and we will leave it as type 1, let's say ok, let's say ok, but we need one more parameter, this is parameter the distance uh, of our panel, so Let's use the eye or you can just select a line dimension and here you will find your dot. Let's select one dot and let's select here is another dot and here you'll get the distance. But this is not so much correct because if you will for example select this point and you will change it as you can see it's not correct distance right now. Let's select this uh, age and you will find here the log profiles. Now once you will change this point, for example, it will be changed everywhere because it's trying to make it straight always. So and here's our distance. So let's select this dimension. Let's create the new parameter and this is, will be distance uh, and let's leave it like type 1. So uh, I will change to the 125, no, 2050 and let's back now to the family type parameters. So why we did that? Uh, our overall distance is 10,000, right? So it means, uh, for example, to for a, a we grid, we will use the 
uh, distance, let's say, divide by 10, it will be, oh, I mean divide by 50, sorry. This is an optional number, and as you can see, we get uh, here the uh, 200. And here we will do another thing, here we will divide by 25. Let's apply it. And we get the triangle as we want. We're just making the one distance twice smaller than another one, and that's why we get the grid as we want. So now we are ready to working with the family, let's create the family. So let's go to the file. Um, here we will go to the new and in, here you will choose the family. Let's use the family. Here we will use the English one. Maybe you're already in English template, so you don't need to choose that. And we need the um, curtain panel pattern based. Let's select it. As you can see right now, this is family uh, have the uh, square pattern. This is not we what we want. Let's select only the pattern just from the right to the left like this. And let's change the rectangular one for the triangle flat. But before we will uh, switch to the work with the our points, let's select again our network. And here, as you can see, horizontal one is 300, so 48. 48. But this is not for so useful, so useful for us because uh, our pattern is around um, 20, 200, uh, 400 millimeter. And let's change on the same data. For example, the horizontal one will be a uh, 400 millimeter and vertical one let's say twice less 200 millimeter so we did something like that but uh, let me will change here will be 400 millimeter here will be 200 millimeter and this is what we want this is what we want and we will use this one okay the next thing we should place our points uh, just be careful when you will be uh, place your points uh, before you will place it you should set your work plane okay just use the set set your work plane and place the point exactly on on the point again set work plane place your point and one more time and as you can see i'm keeping uh, creating my points from the one to the two and uh, from the two to the three try to keep the same uh, idea so let's select our point and let's create parameter for this point offset here's the point number one and of course as you understand this is will be point a let's call it point point a and the main thing this parameter will be instance because i want to manipulate with this parameter in my main file and let's do the same thing with the point two let's select this button let's place it point point b and also it will be instance one. Okay, let's change the point three, offset, point, point, C, and will be instance two. Now we will go back to the our family type parameter. Let's change manually, for example, to the 150. We wanna test our family before we will use it for the geometry. As you can see, uh, offset working normally, but the main thing uh, is our point exactly referenced by our main point or not, how to check it. Just select your network and change one of the parameters, for example, here it will be 400. If all four points following your main point, everything working. So as you can see, everything working. If uh, in, your, uh, in, in your family it's not working, check uh, is it, did you use the set or uh, your working plane or not. Now time to create our reference lines. Uh, we should create the reference lines. Let's create the reference lines. It's here, the reference line. Let's use it and let's use the 3D snapping. Now you should switch on. And let's start from the one, from the point A to the point B to the point C and back to the point one. So we did the reference plane, uh, reference line, I mean. Uh, most of you asking me why we should use the reference line and what is the difference with the model line. Let me will show you. Let's select our reference line and another reference line and let's create the form. Here's the our form. Let's select our form and let's temporarily hide it. Here is you can temporarily hide it or you can use just double click HH. Let's double click HH. And as you can see, our reference line is here. Okay, now you understand. You can change your reference line in any time. You creating the geometry, but your reference line not gone anywhere. Let me I will go back, I will select this line and I will change this reference line uh, to the model line. Now it's model line. 
Let's select this model line and this reference line. Let's create the form. Now let's select our model again and uh, I will again use the HH and as you can see we don't have any points and our line because it's gone. You created you created it once and you not will manipulate it later on. Somehow you can of course, but I mean uh, you cannot easily change your geometry later on. So as you can see the best way for us uh, keep it uh, as the way is that as the reference line. So what we're gonna do right do right now select your reference line, select another reference line and create a geometry. We did it. Now if you will go to the family type and for example change the point A to the hundred one, let's say okay, it will be changed as you can see. Not totally one, but uh, the height is what's changed. Let's say I will change totally like 50 because you can see it properly. And as you can see, the height it was changed. So this is what we actually we want. And this is the time now to the load inside to the project. But first we wanna create the material. Let me select the geometry, let's select this point and let's create the material. Material will be instance because I want to manipulate with this material in our main file and let's call it panel, panel material. Instance one, let's say OK, let's say OK. So we did it and now it's time to load it inside to the our project. Let's load it inside to the our project. I hope this is family number three. Uh, let me check first. Yeah, this is family number three. Let me load there. We already loaded and what we're gonna do right now, just select your network, select here the under the properties different uh, the um, pattern, it's family for here, let's select it. So that's why I'm always saying you, you should uh, name properly because you will see the think like uh, it's really hard to understand like like right now what is that family 3 family 4 and we loaded our pattern here as you can see now pattern came with our uh, function like minus 50 one uh, one point but as i said now i will show you how you can manipulate with this thing we buy the dynamo so i will do like that and i will switch the shadow casting to see properly what's going on of course we should change our uh, sun because it's going from the another way but anyway okay so let me i will start to use dynamo let's open up dynamo uh, for dynamo we should go to the manage here you'll find dynamo and let's open we should create a new one and now let's select all our panels how we can do that we need select our panels so let's write here the select uh, selection and here we should choose the by type one let's find the uh, family types and we don't have a lot of the family as you can see here is the family number four but if you have a lot of the family that's why we need again the naming as you can see our external parameter this is family type so we should use now all elements of family type let's connect it one to the second one and as you can see here is the result uh, all our families it's thousand something Okay, so the next thing what we want to do, we want to manipulate with the parameter inside of that, uh, which is called um, which is called point A, point B. Uh, let's create, for example, point A. I mean, this, uh, let's try to manipulate with point A, point A. You should keep naming same, because if you're not keeping the same naming, uh, it will be really hard. Uh, after that, we need to uh, get the parameter, uh, for not get, we should, uh, we should somehow randomize it. Let me, I will set, set, first we will get parameter, yeah, that's right, get, get uh, parameter, I wanna show you one thing, get parameter here, let's connect elements and parameters, as you can see, everything right with the naming, because we get parameter now number A. But it's not idea for us because we are not, don't want to, uh, we not, <laughs> we cannot use the get parameter for anything right now. Let's use the set parameter. Set parameter because we want to set our data inside to the parameter. Uh, here's our elements, we know the naming and here's the value. And value is most interesting thing because we want to randomize it, we need sequences, right? So let's write here rand 
and we will find found here the uh, random function for example and value from the one uh, no this is not for us I don't want to use this one and let's use the another thing we need the shuffle for sure we need the shuffle and we need run random integer list so this is by clockwork you should, can find it around the internet just write the clockwork dynamo and install it it's really easy to install it so not any problem with that uh, what doing the clockwork actually uh, it's giving to us the chance for example to create the minimal parameter it will be 10 for example maximum parameter it will be 150 millimeter and uh, we need the amount and amount it will be uh, automatically calculated let me I will connect it one here one here no actually amount let's make it like mm, let's say it will be 25 no 50 50 will be better it will be 50 let's connect to the amount and here is the data till the 50 on the list actually to the 44 but 49 because it's starting from the zero and as you can see here is the sum data now we can shuffle of course that but before we will shuffle we wanna uh, actually make it the same number of the parameters like it's in here as you can see here is the number of parameters in 1275 but here it's only 50 so it means we will change only the 50 panels but we want to change only uh, not only 50 we want to change 1200 parameters how to do that so we need to repeat item because as you can see here is only 50 here is like 1200 something let's use the repeater oh it's here uh, repeat item and as you can see here is our items it's how we don't have anything and we ha should calculate our um, elements let's use the count oh not this one count uh, count 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 it's here and let's connect our list elements to the count and count to the amount and as you can see we get totally huge number because we should divide it uh, we have the here the 50 numbers we should divide by this count so x divided by y and our x will be here our y will be here and let's connect to the amount and we will get pretty close the number this as you can see 1000 something but the list as you can see here it's uh it's really one, uh, main one as you can see list number two list number one and we have only one list but here as you can see we have like under the list so we shouldn't have the same thing like here we should make it flatter let's use the flatter flatter is here and let's connect it to the list and now what we get as you can see all the things now like in one list and this list we will connect to the list uh, with the shuffle because we will shuffle this data and as you can see our no, no, our number one it's 100 uh, 112 and here it's changed and it's totally changed here all the data so in the last thing we should connect our list to the value and uh, it will be changed uh, i mean the panels will be changed for the point a we are doing now everything for the point a let's change automatically to the manual one and let's connect uh, to the value and let's run it here is done as you can see it was changed you cannot see now uh, a lot of the difference because uh, actually we already uh, changed before our result what we can do right now we can create for example point let's use for example we not will touch a point c but we will uh, use the point uh, b for the changes let's use the point b and let's connect our point b here to the parameter value and let's run it just uh, let's uh, take it's uh, take a bit the time it's already regenerating so it means uh, our uh, dynamo script is uh, working i i hope it's nothing will crash and here we are now you can see better result and i mean not better by design better by result so as you can see we totally changed our panels and it was changed as you can see simple script and the simple family can create really interesting thing uh, in Revit and of course you know this thing and you can use it for this tutorial it was uh, that's it so thank you guys for watching and see you next time